Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to manifest or have anything you want. You can have anything you want. You can manifest it in your life. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to talk about that. But first, on Blessing Day, I want to bless our country. In the name of Jesus, I bless the United States of America and all the people here. I say, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. God gave the priest the authority to bless the nation. And I just did. Our country is blessed. How do I look? I had to fix myself up this morning. My entourage is not available. I don't know where those people are. But say this with me on Blessing Day. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Good things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. I am beautiful. Look in the mirror and say that. People like me. I have a wonderful life. I am rich. Amen. We're going to make some things happen, folks. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. I am more determined than you are that you're going to live that way. Because I need you to. Because when, when you live a curse-free, blessed life, you attract people to the kingdom. And I am all about building the temple and the kingdom of God. Amen. I want to show you something. Also, I want to tell you, you know, blessing days today. A lot of people do their offerings and donations and their tithe today. Make sure you call me to speak the blessing over you. Now, I'm going to be in and out this morning because we're scheduled for a flight this morning. But I won't be in the air too long at any one time, so I will be able to return phone calls. But after, probably after 11 30, 12 o'clock Eastern time, I'll be available the rest of the day. So then people can call me in this evening. I'm available all evening. So we'll get, your, we'll get all your calls. And if you call me and you don't get a hold of me, I will call you back. Amen. Because I want to get everybody blessed today on Blessing Day. I want to show you something right here. Now, make sure you share this video, too. Nobody is teaching on this level, folks. I was talking to somebody yesterday, one of God's generals, and I mentioned the fact that nobody, is, and he was in our church yesterday during our service, and I mentioned the fact that nobody is teaching on this level. And he said, that's right. Nobody is, is doing what we do. And the thing about it is, there's a, there's a few people out there who are doing miracle meetings and, and they're getting wonderful results. But you can't get them on the phone. I am available. I do miracles, only I do them on the phone. And we had somebody in church yesterday who, she had had a double mastectomy. She stood up and gave her testimony. She had had a double mastectomy. The cancer came back. It was all through her. And her cousin asked me to call her and pray for her. And she got healed over the phone. Glory to God. She stood up right, told everybody she's cancer for you. Cancer numbers are just about zero. Of course, anybody's got some numbers, but she's, her doctors are just amazed. 
They're just amazed. She's doing, she, she's healed. Totally healed. I want to show you something here. You, you, you call me. I'll do that with you over the phone. We do miracles over the phone. This is not just a prayer ministry, folks. This is a ministry that gets miracles over the phone. You don't have to travel 500 miles to get to me. Just call me. How simple is that? Jesus said in Mark 9, 23, he said to the man, if you can believe all things are possible to them that believe. Now, when it comes to manifesting what you want or getting what you want, getting and manifesting are the same thing. When it comes to getting what you want or manifesting what you want, step number one is to understand that nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is impossible for you. Who knows? I have a revelation of this. Let me tell you, folks. Ten years ago, when I got this revelation, 10, 12 years ago, I was broke. Now I am living in absolute abundance. I'm telling you. And I'm not doing anything different than I did then. But nothing is impossible. Who knows what God's going to do with me? You see, the thing about my life that is different than a lot of people is I have no impossibilities. And guess what? Neither do you. You have no impossibilities in your life. Who knows what God's going to do with you. There's some amazing things going to happen. And you could be right at the center of it. Who knows? Gideon was a coward. Hiding in the wine press because he didn't want his grain stolen. And the angel appeared and said, Hail, thy mighty man of valor. And put him in charge. And he delivered the entire nation of Israel. Esther did the same thing. Mordecai, her uncle, said, You are here for such a time as this. Folks, let me tell you something. We are here for such a time as this. Who knows what God's going to do through you? You don't know. You don't know. You could wind up being one of the generals in God's army. You don't know. You could. You have no impossibilities. I read this years ago and I said, you know what? There is nothing I can't do. There is nothing I can't have and there's nothing God can't do through me. Mark eleven twenty four. Jesus said, He said, therefore, I say unto you, whatever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. Whatever you desire. Is there any limitations in that verse? No. Everybody wants to put limitations on God. Well, God is sovereign. and Well, God's timing is perfect. Get off that. 
There is nothing you can't have. Nothing. Whatever you can believe for. I'm going to get your, your believer up. I'm going to get you to the point where you start believing for some big things. We're going to fly our own airplane this morning. People who knew us 10 years ago when we were poor preachers are amazed what, what God's done in our life. I'll tell you what God's done in our life. We now have the blessing of the Lord upon us. I tell you, I was talking to Mary last night. And I said, you know, I said, this is the, the this, this Bible is, it's the only book I have ever seen where everything in this book that's written down, everything works exactly the way it says it does. It all works. God's word works. And when he says, you have no limitations or no impossibilities on your life. That's exactly what he means. And when he says you can have whatever you want when you pray, if you just expect to receive it, that's what he means. Right now, resolve in your own mind that you have no limitations on your life. Let's remove the limitations first. Let's get rid of these limitations. Who knows what God's going to do for you? Through you. With you. God does miracles through me. The woman stood up in church yesterday and told everybody she got totally healed full of cancer, was in her spine and everything else. She got healed. We have had literally thousands of people, thousands of miracles in our life. Who ever, who would have ever thought that some poor little kid from Pennsylvania was ever going to do things like that? Huh? Because God has no limitations. And he, he places no limitations on us. He doesn't say, I'm going to do this through this person or that through that person. No, sometimes God picks out people to do things with, but he doesn't limit anybody. Je Jesus said, all things are possible if you can believe. You just got to get yourself to the point where you believe it. That's all. Jesus said, be it unto you according to your faith. What do you expect? I expect great things in my life. Amen. I expect you to live in abundance. And I expect you to live a healthy life. And I'll help you make it happen. That's what I do. I help people make things happen. I'm telling you what, folks. You call me, I'll prove it to you. I will break the curse of the law in your life. I will speak the blessing over you. And if you, if you just watch your words, be careful what you say, and don't curse yourself, you will live an abundant life. I'll make it happen for you. You hook up with this ministry. You hook up with me. Call me every week to speak the blessing over you. Keep the curse out of your life. I will keep the curse out of your life. I will keep you blessed. Because that's what I do. Share this with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know who is sick and broke, please call Pastor Jim. You don't have to stay this way. Somebody told that woman to get in touch with me. And she got her miracle. You can get your miracle too.